Hi everybody, uh, my name's Michael Dunnett and I'm here with this next edition of the Tides TV. I'm here today with Dirk Jan von Zulen of Aspen Pharma in the Netherlands. Uh, Dirk Jan is going to talk to us today from his position of manager of development and technical support, all about Aspen's view on the manufacturing within Tides currently. Welcome Dirk Jan. Thank you, thank, thank you very much. Okay, so first question for you today. Uh, what is your view on the therapeutic area of the peptides and oligonucleotides? Yeah, great question. Uh, I believe it's it's of great importance. Eh? Ever since I started my uh, my scientific career, I've really been amazed by the capabilities of the human body. Eh? If you look at protein-protein interactions or, or oligonucleotides, many of the systems in our body are regulated by these uh, by these compounds and well, the body can manage these, these very complicated systems by, well, often very minute quantities of, of peptides, proteins, or oligonucleotides. So uh, we understand more and more of these interactions and the capabilities of manufacturing is, is growing along in parallel with it. Uh, if you look at the, the current uh, COVID pandemic, uh, then, then, yeah. The, the, the mRNA vaccines are literally saving human lives, millions of saving uh, of, of human lives. So uh, the world is actually waiting for, for our knowledge and, and new discoveries in these uh, therapeutic areas. Absolutely. C couldn't agree more. Um, how do you see the future of the peptide and oligonucleotide industry? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, if you look at the, the, the history, yeah, the main focus over the past few years in, in for pharmaceutical companies has been on, on small molecules, yeah, but, but you can clearly see it's, it's changing. Yeah? More and more, the biologicals are taking over. Uh, NCEs, new chemical entities for orphan drugs are, are replacing the drugs for more general health, yeah? like, for instance, hypertension. Uh, and if you also look at, for instance, in, in 2011, the top 15 drugs, nine of them were, were small molecules, eh, and, and the top six were completely occupied by small molecules. Uh, Lipitor as being number one, eh, uh, absolutely on the top. Uh, and only six of these 15 drugs were, were biologicals, eh, uh, Umira uh, being the largest on, on position seven. And if you then look and compare it to, to 2020, it's completely turned around. Eh? If you look at the top 15 in 2020, there are only six small molecules eh, were present, Remlivit, uh, uh, Reflimid being the, the largest, and only nine, bi uh, already nine biologicals were there, eh? and Umira was the largest bi biological and number one of the list. So there you can see it's it's actually to changing, the paradigm is shifting, and uh, to be honest, I believe that the peptides and the oligonucleotides can truly benefit from this shift in paradigm in uh, in drug landscape. Definitely. And uh, how is uh, Aspen OSPV participating in these therapeutic areas then? Yeah, yeah. Well, Aspen, Aspen OS, Aspen the Netherlands, has, has been a player in the manufacturing of peptides for already many, many years. Uh, and through our global Aspen API network, we ensure flexibility, we deliver reliability of several peptides. Uh, and furthermore, in, in our labs, we've developed our own uh, patented green continuous liquid phase peptide synthesis method, uh, GCLPPS. And um, this GCLPPS method combines the advantages of the classical solution phase synthesis uh, with the solid phase approach. Uh, it's, it's characterized by the fact that the intermediates, uh, so the different uh, uh, are, are intermediates are not isolated anymore which is the classical thing with, with normal liquid phase peptide synthesis. And by doing this, it in, in enables a high efficient synthesis method that's easy to scale up and use of hyper reproducible purity. And we use our, our method, uh, GCLPBS, to manufacture several generic peptides, uh, for instance, uh, uh, loperulin, uh, but currently we are also working as a CDMO on several new branded uh, peptide projects where we also are incorporating this GCLPPS method for, uh, for new peptides. Interesting. So building on that then, um, 
what uh, are, to your opinion, uh, what the trend in manufacturing on peptides and yeah. oligonucleotides? Yeah, great, great question. Yeah, there, of course, there are several trends, eh? but but uh, the, the the main trend and and uh, 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 absolutely a trend which we cannot uh, uh, circumvent him anymore is 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 all over in pharma industry is is sustainability. Eh? Uh, 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 and you can see that the perception in society on sustainability is absolutely changing. In um, in 2020, the European Commission they published a a, a paper. Uh, where they they looked at several uh, uh, industries and they looked at the the, the ESCG ratings on five common SDGs, eh, uh, Sustainable Development Goals. For instance, number seven, uh, li uh, affordable and clean energy, or number twelve, uh, responsible consumption and production. And they compared uh, the different R and D industries like aerospace, automotive, but also the health industry, uh, ICT pro producers. And well, to be honest, uh, among these industries, the health industry in the perception of society scored the worst. <laughs> uh, on none of the five SDGs investigated, the health industry scored above neutral. It was all below neutral. Uh, um, but besides society, yeah, which is changing, we can also see a, a paradigm shift from our own customers. Uh, more and more, we are questioned uh, as a supplier of, of APIs we are questioned on our plans for sustainability. Uh, and again, our, our green answer for peptide synthesis uh, is again our own developed uh, uh, method, which I just uh, mentioned, uh, the GC LPPS method. Uh, but our, our focus on, on sustainability does not stop by, by the development of this, uh, this method. Uh, we are uh, striving for the optimization of this method at this moment in, in my labs. And we hope to uh, to complete that in the near future, but uh, also we are focusing on wastewater treatment, recovery of solvent, energy reduction. Uh, uh, there are several other examples uh, which we try to uh, to strive for in order to reduce the footprint in uh, in the manufacturing of peptides. Sounds like busy busy time in the in the Aspen <laughs> Pharma labs for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> And uh, finally, just to, to wrap it up for you today, uh, what are the plans of Aspenos BB? Yeah, yeah. well, besides the, 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 the optimization of the GC LPPS method, eh, which I just mentioned, uh, uh, where we are striving to, to, to reduce the waste, uh, get rid of some solvents, uh, uh, we are also working on the reduction of chemicals of very high concern, uh, like, for instance, solvent DMF. Uh, uh, we want to be proactive and we want to prepare, be prepared for the future. We don't want to be surprised by a sudden ban on such solvents and such chemicals like, for instance, DMF. Uh, Aspen API is, is more than just an API. And by buying our API, you will also be, receive a service level that completely unburdens you from security of supply towards helping you in achieving your sustainability goals. And therefore, we've made the decision that we want to become the leader in sustainability. And lastly, we are expanding our CDMO business to become the most sustainable solution provider for the innovative pharmaceutical industry. I think that's a fantastic, uh, fantastic statement to end on, Dirk Jan. I really look forward to, uh, to seeing that come to fruition and, and following the journey. I, I really uh, appreciate your insight. Um, Everybody, thank thank you very much for listening. That's uh, that's all we've got time for today. Appreciate you all joining for another edition of uh, Tide TV, and especially thank you, uh, Dirk Yan, for joining us. Any final closing comments from you at all? No, you're welcome. And uh, I would like to emphasize all uh, what I've said: peptides, oligonucleotides, really important class uh, of, of of products. Let's uh, let's work on them. Let's find some new uh, new methods new peptides, new oligonucleotides, and let's help uh, the world who is out there crying out for, for our, uh, our knowledge.